Hi again, my name is Chrisos Baimbakis, or just Chris, and I am from Greece. In this video we will speak about comping. That is a way to record many takes or many versions of a signal performance in different tracks and uh, we can choose the best pieces from each track and create a compiled version that includes the best pieces and you can create the perfect performance. To demonstrate an example, I'm using Sonar X2 Producer Edition. This process varies from one DAW to another. Let's see what we can do. In this example, as we can see, I already had named and recorded two imperfect performances in two tracks with the same riff guitar to a drum groove. In reviewing the material, I found that I don't like some measures from each track. Let's create a perfect comp track or compiled track. The first thing that I need is a new track to build the compiled track onto. I'll create a new mono track because the previous were mono and I set the input to none. A good practice to get into the habit of is setting the input to none, if we are not planning to do a live recording. This will save PC resources and also avoid the chance of accidental feedback later. I have set my grid to measure. So that way, as I cut, I know it will be right on the bar length and will make editing much easier. I will select the scissors tool and I'll divide the region or separate the region right at the down bit of measure 4 and I will copy this to the new track. Now I like the fourth and the fifth measure from the second track and I will use a different method this time. There are many ways we can select in DAW. Sometimes we are selecting regions with that arrow tool, other times we are selecting a range of time, like I've done here, and let's hear it. I like both of the performances, but there is a slight click at the transition between the two clips. We can solve that with a variety of ways. Let's zoom in to see what happens. So right here is my transition. Right. Here we need a crossfade. I will switch on the crossfade tool and I will make a very very small fade in both of them. With fades the shorter is almost always better. Let's listen to the results. Sounds good and I can zoom back out now and continue with my comp. Now I like the 6th and the 7th measure from first track. I will select these measures now and I will copy them into comp track. Also I like the rest of the measures from the second track. Here we go, let's hear it. happy but we need those cross fades. Now we have a perfect performance built from two previous performances. Possible, the last thing that we want to do here is to merge or consolidate or bounce them in this DAW to a new track. I can use them easily later, it's easy. We just need to highlight all the different parts from the track and then we have to select bounce clips in this DAW. Now it will create a new audio file on my hard drive without losing the old files. There we have a new merged combed performance. That was how we can comb a new track from different tracks. Thanks for watching, see you soon.